Hi guys, welcome to Pimp My Shack season two. My name is Zita Jesus and I'm at Project Wonder Woman. I'm so excited for you guys to meet our winner of the 30,000 Namibian dollar renovations thanks to Pupkovitz Mega Build. I want to get to know her. What is her wish list and what's her story? Meme Paulina, how are you? I'm fine, how are you? I'm well, thank you. So you won. Tell me, how did you feel when you found out that you won? Oh, I'm very happy to be a winner in this promotion. Uh -huh. Very much happy. <laughs> I have no more to say. Only, only thanks, I only thanks God and Paul Kevin's Mega Bolt. Mm. I'm very happy for that. Okay, so tell us who you are. What's your story? My name is Paulina Shangoshua Jones. I grown up in Ondangwa with my parents, so still I'm living in Ondangwa. I got a plot last year in Ondangwa, it was September, and then I moved in my plot to October, and this year again I won. It's really appreciated. So the name of your project is Project Wonder Woman, and the reason why we named it Wonder Woman is because I think we really appreciate, you know, the role that you played in the response to COVID. And as well as you are part of the adult literacy. I mean, what made you do something for your community? Under COVID, I volunteered myself last year, toward the end of year, um, setting up chip taps in different locations in Ondangwa town. And then uh, giving information against COVID-19. I'm a, an adult educator in the Oruno district since 2004. How many people are in your school, the adult uh, literacy? Oh, I'm having 15 learners. 15 learners. Mm. Big people. Yeah, big people. <laughs> uh, it warms our heart that there are people like you out there that are doing their part in the community. But enough about that. I really want to know what is your wish list in this space? I mean, you won a renovation worth 30,000 Namibian dollars. So we want to know what, it is, what is it that in your heart, what do you want us to do? What are you hoping that we get to do for you? In my 30,000 that I won, I just want my house to be extended. At least you can even put a kitchen, sitting room, and extra bedroom for my son. I'm having my 15 years old son who's at school. So that I can even accommodate my family members who yeah. will come and visit me. Okay. There you have it guys, we've heard from Emma Paulina herself. All she wants is a little kitchen, living room, but just generally more room for her and her family to create even more memories. I'm excited to start planning. I'm excited to start pimping. So if you want to see what we're going to do in Project Wonder Woman, keep watching. Just met Mama Paulina from Project Wonder Woman. She is absolutely amazing. I'm excited to start shopping. I'm getting into my Pupkovitz Volkswagen Transporter. I'm ready to go to Pupkovitz Megabill for me to start shopping. The excitement is crazy. So we need some tools and I'm about to get me some marathon tools. So yeah, follow me. To make my life easy on set, I'm about to shop for some Ryobi power tools. I love how this brand actually specializes in making power tools affordable for everyone. I 
I mean, what's a good thing without a pretty tap? Now, I'm opting for a blue tie tap because one, I love how slim and pretty this looks, but not even talk about the fact that these guys are made out of the highest quality. Exclusive to Pupkovitz Mega Build, of course, these beauties are going to be perfect for my shacks and for the project. So on site we do not have any electricity so we need some generator power and I am taking one of these Gentech generators with me. This one right here is a Tradesman Series petrol generator. It is great for contractors and of course I can also power my tools with this baby right here so it comes in quite handy. To pour a new concrete floor, follow these basic steps. Make sure the ground is level where you intend to pour the new floor. Add a wooden frame to the desired area. This prevents the concrete from leaking out. In our case, we had a border between the zinc and the existing shutterboard of the shack. Fasten the loose ground and use a compactor if needed. To make concrete for the new floor, use a Horongo cement mix as follow. One bucket of Horongo 42.5N cement. Two buckets of coarse or river sand. Two buckets of 19mm stone. and half a bucket of water. In some cases, you might have to add more water, but do not add more than two thirds of a bucket. Mix it properly with a mixer. Once the mix is ready, you can start pouring your new floor. When poured in the desired area, level the concrete with a spirit level. Use a brush to drip water onto the concrete, then use a hand float to smooth out the floor. Cure the concrete for at least seven days and keep it wet by watering it every morning. To install a new window or move an existing one, follow these basic steps. Measure out the window frame and mark it out on the zinc. Fit the frame against the zinc to make sure the measurements are correct. Cut out the exact size measured on the zinc. Insert the window frame and support it with wood. Do this for the whole length of the zinc. We installed our windows between two support poles of the shack, allowing us to support it on both sides of the frame. These frames have supports on the side which are very easy to use. We then secured the window frames to the poles. Fasten the frames with screws onto the wooden frame. To insert the glass onto the window frame, use multi-purpose glazing putty. Work the putty with your hands several minutes before use. Add the putty to the frame and insert the glass carefully. Make sure that the glass is in properly. Remove all extra putty and use a scraper to finish it off neatly and let it dry. So with Project Wonder Woman, we did an entire extension. So we added on a living room and a kitchen area. So we had to put in a completely new floor. Exciting, yes, I know. But at this point, the floor was taking quite a while to dry and I couldn't even start with anything until the floor dried. How to paint a zinc roof and make it heat reflecting. It is important to clean and prepare galvanized metal before it can be painted. Use Promac Galv Prep for this purpose as it is easy to use and will ensure that your paint will last a long time. 
Apply the product directly to the galvanized metal with the brush, mop or soft broom. Leave the product on the surface for 15 minutes to an hour until the metal has darkened. Wash the surface with clean water using a brush, mop or soft broom. Leave the wash surface for an hour or longer for etching process to finish. Do not apply paint during this time. After cleaning, apply one coat of RB10 metal primer to the galvanized metal roof using a brush or special corrugated paint roller. RB10 metal primer will ensure that your roof paint sticks properly to the galvanized metal. It is also to prevent any rust from forming underneath the roof paint. Before applying your roof paint, waterproof any roof screws, joints and flashing. For more details, watch episode 2, A Mother's Love. After priming the waterproofing, apply two coats of Promac Roof Coat to the galvanized metal roof using a brush or special corrugated paint roller. Ensure a minimum overcoating time of about 4 hours between the first and the second coat. Your roof paint needs to be strong and UV resistant to last in our Namibian climate. That's why we recommend Promac Roof Coat which will reduce the temperature inside. in project wonder woman i'm so happy construction is like done and it's time for me to actually start styling so the diy in this project is to do like a halfway panel in this space the paneling really just adds a little bit of personality and texture for those that actually want to try this out i'm going to take you guys through the steps on how you can create beautiful paneling on shatterboard and make it look like it should number one you need your pine strips and then you need your adhesive for extra reinforcement you will need um, panel nails I have the 180 sanding paper here just to sand the edges off so it can fit in perfectly nicely into you know the frame that we've created right here so wood filler for control and of course you have your measuring tape just to measure out and of course last but not least your accent color paint this time around we're going with some burnt orange so the first thing you want to do is just frame out so we've got this um, pine strip lying horizontally on top as well as at the bottom and then we sort of created a beautiful frame on both ends as well the vertical strips that you put on it's really subject to taste so you can decide either whether you're gonna put in them close to each other or far apart the key here is to make sure that the space between your panels is consistent you don't want one is wide and one is smaller as well so once you have measured your next space out you create um, like a little marker at the top and you do the same at the bottom that just helps you to ensure that your panel is going to be exactly straight and then once you have your strip out you pretty much cut it and then you need to sand the edges off really nicely so that it fits in apply that uh, sticker tile adhesive on it and then you stick it on you can first put in the first tip at the top and then the bottom and once you have ensured that it is properly in place then you can now paste it onto the wall and then for reinforcement you then use the panel nails to just hammer in wherever there's like a bulge or something this just makes sure that just in case you know there's a little bit of inconsistency in terms of how flush this wall is the panels are still nice straight and against the shutterboard So this is like one of 13 strips that I need to paint. So see you at the review. Final stages now, like finally everything is on. Paneling is done, paint is in. You know, the insulation, it's kind of cool in this shack right now. 
So we are busy styling um, and there's a lot of dust and cleanup that we need to do. But I think we'll be ready for the reveal tomorrow. It's gonna be a long night, but I'm excited. So yeah, stay tuned. This is a solar made stainless steel 3 lumen mini path light. To get this baby to work, you want to charge it for at least about 12 hours and you want to do it in direct sunlight. So once you've done that, it will be on for at least plus minus 6 to 8 hours. This is a great solar made light. I use it in my house on the outside and the cool part is that it goes in nicely in the garden. <laughs> So after a long wait of floors having to dry and DIY panels that had to be like redesigned, it's finally time for the reveal and I love how the orange came out. The beautiful pieces of traditional elements that we've put in the space looks just breathtaking. I love this space and everyone that has seen it so far loves it. But most importantly, we hope Meme Polina is going to love it as much as we do. So it is finally reveal time for Project Wonder Woman. I am so excited to show Meme Polina what we've done in her space. So many nerves, but I think it's more excitement than anything else. So in a bit, I'm about to open this door and it's game over. So Meme Polina, are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. <laughs> Go. Watch your steps step up. You can open them. Wow! <laughs> yeah. It's looking nice. <laughs> wow! So, so maybe Paulina, you said you wanted space to sit with more people. Yes! Oh. So I created a dining area for you with a lovely plant. So. This is your dining area with your curtain and your lights and your mirror. It's looking nice, my dear. What do you think about yeah, the I like what you want. <laughs> wow! And this side here is a place for you to sit again and relax. Chill. This is nice, eh? And your little kitchen. You can go check, Bimmy. Don't, you, oh. don't be afraid. <laughs> I never knew. So this one, we put the thing in for you when you get your water. Yeah, we'll connect so it you very soon. You just connect it very, soon. very nicely. A nice clock. At least you've got your kitchen curtains here. Yeah. Um, you've got your macaroni was uh, sponsored by Pasta Polana okay. there. So yeah, Meme, let's sit on your new chairs so we can so. see how it feels like hmm. in your new house. Remember Paulina, it has been four weeks that we've been working on this space. We have extended. I think one of, your, one of the main things that you mentioned in the first interview was that you wanted more space for you and your family. First of all, congratulations on the little one. You know, you're at home, Mali. <laughs> Just now I'm having the kitchen, sitting room. Oh, yeah. It's looking nice. So we, we extended this entire part, just giving you a living area. Initially, mm -hmm. we just had the two rooms, but now you at least have a kitchen and a dining. Mm -hmm. You can maybe change it to a living room later if you feel like it. But how are you feeling? Are you happy with what you've done? Is it what you expected? Is it better? Is it worse? What are your feelings? Oh, I'm very happy. Just to see when the way you decorate the room is looking nice. And still, I like Oshuamba things. Oh. They are looking nice, it's true. I'm very happy. At least I'm having an extra event. The rooms, I can accommodate my family. I'm very happy. It makes us happy that you're happy. Oh. We planted some trees for you outside also. Um, I saw them. And we put some solar lights for you as well. Oh, at least I wanted to send my Liga to Orange Pill Interior Designs and put Kevin's Mega Pill in their teams. Oh, and the, all the people who donate, thank you very much. Orongo Cement, also the members here. Thank you very much to everything that you have done for me. Thank you, thank you. All right, Mayor Paulina, here is one more surprise from you from Pasta Polana. They have given you a lovely hamper for you to enjoy this festive season. I hope you are going to make some lovely macaroni salad, which is my favorite this Christmas. Wow, that's nice. Special elbow salad macaroni. Yes, oh, very nice. Yeah. Oh, I, I like it. Oh, I like it. Oh, thank you. Polana. Thank you. 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 Thank you.
this is nice all right guys there you have it the reveal of project wonder woman it looks absolutely amazing Mimi polina loves it i love it the team is like what this was an absolute transformation talk about 360. so before i go i'm about to see what's on the radio you know a little bit of a Malunga radio. I haven't heard nobody. Eh? Wow, Malunga radio. Wish I could dance all day, but nonetheless, I gotta go. Thank you so much for watching and happy holidays.